All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. I've got one of my older guitars here and I have it set up with a different tuning. So if we go ahead and load it up in FL here, uh, I've actually chosen an open tuning here. So um, that means when you strum the guitar, it plays a chord. So we have this. And I kind of just wanted to make an idea in the program here today. I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed when I did the acoustic episode. So I kind of wanted to do something like that. And I have this idea um, with these chords here. So I wanted to jot it down and maybe make a little bit of a song. Maybe you guys wanted to watch that. So let's go ahead, let's get started and let's play a little bit of the progression right now. I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna leave uh, <laughs> the recording running and we'll see what I end up coming up with and uh, probably whip out the bass as well and the other lead guitar and just kind of make some stuff and uh, we'll see where we end up with that. Yeah, I don't really know what the point of this video is, but I wanted to make it anyways. I think it's pretty cool. So uh, hopefully you guys get some insight into how I think about making music. So let's just go for it. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we ended up recording. I'll tell you what, those are really clean chords actually. Those will clean up really nicely once we cut them up. We could probably whip out the bass too here and create a little bass line. I feel like that would be fun. So what I like to do uh, when I'm recording real instruments, uh, the last time we did this, I was struggling a little bit with the actual production of recording them, but I watched some tutorials and I kind of figured out how to do it properly. So I have the uh, recordings much cleaner than they used to be. So we can actually do stuff with this. And I am using a Stratocaster guitar this time. So uh, the tone is a little bit sharper, um, which is easier on the mic. And so uh, what I like to do is what you're seeing right now, which is record the chords individually in spurts and then just splice them together. That way we get a nice, easy... Uh, transition between each sound because we're not playing live here right we don't need to uh, be doing this at a concert or anything so there's no pressure on the recordings and whatnot so we can just do it however we want so i find it's most successful to record them in pieces okay now i'm going to record uh, a little intro part i did that riff that was kind of like this and i think that would be really cool for an intro and so i'll record it with a bunch of different chords there and see what we come up with This is going to be hard. I don't really know how to play these chords. <laughs> All right, this is going to be hard. I don't know if I know how to do this. All right, I am going to uh, just remove those for now, but I'm not going to delete them. Uh, so we still have them. And uh, let's get out the bass. Let's plug that in. Get in there. Yeah. 
And I dropped my pick. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what this sounds like, if I'm being honest with you. Ooh, crunchy. bit of cooking in the kitchen here. I gotta figure out what notes we're actually on because I don't know. All right, I pretty much got it. Uh, but I would like to improvise a little bit and maybe create something different. So we got this. And then we have to go up. And that's our, that's the key of this song. So that's our root note or whatever it is, D major probably, I think. Something like that. Uh, maybe D sharp major, I don't even know. Um, but I would like to add a little bit of like, stuff like that in there. That's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't realize it's just open. So we go like this probably. So I can do that to stop the string from ringing. That would probably be sick. But then it's a big jump. I guess we could do. So that's what that one sounds like. That's what that one sounds like. I don't know which string I want to use. It's less movement up here. I guess I could do this. We could go. And then jump back to here. That way I don't have to move my hands around so much, so. All right, so when I recorded the bass last time, um, I let it ring too much. I had way too much sustain on the strings and it like ruined the song. So I'm trying to get better at not letting the strings ring. So I think by doing that cool little riff there that kind of eliminates that. But I love when songs, especially the Japanese songs, when they have like these sick bass lines where they're just kind of crazy. Yeah, I love when they just have like those crazy uh, note switches and stuff. So I want to add that in here. Um, and so I'm kind of thinking uh, that that's probably the baseline we're going to do. So let's, uh, I guess, give it a try. All right, just need some final little pieces here. Literally just like that, we have a rock song. That was uh, probably less than 45 minutes, I think, it took me to get to this point. So we have the drum loop uh, that I made a long time ago on top of the guitars and the bass. And I haven't even done anything to him yet, and it already sounds pretty decent. The guitar is like a little bit out of tune for some reason, uh, so I might try and fix that. But we have this cool idea. Actually, uh, this chord here, I recorded another section for this specifically. Oh, that's going to sound really sweet. I just realized that's going to be really, really cool. I love that little, uh, the little thing I did with the bass at the end, that dinner. That's so cool, this part. I love that. It really, really adds to the whole the whole thing. And we have the slide here as well. Just little stuff like that. I think this video is going to be more about um, showcasing how I generate ideas. So I'm kind of just like working in the flow right now. Just kind of hearing little things that I like. Not bad. Not bad. The nod of approval. I think it's just about done. Uh, I can't really think of anything else uh, to add. I should save it first.
Uh, so yeah, this is what we ended up coming up with. That took about two hours, maybe, I think I was recording for. So uh, yeah, that's kind of some insight on how I uh, generate ideas. I have no idea what this video is going to be. I think I'm just going to cut it up and <laughs> upload it. Uh, so here's the finished product. with that one i think i did a much better job uh than the last one we did uh i did want to say uh something here if you guys have uh, some tracks that you want to share with me for feedback and you want to be in one of my videos go ahead and join the discord server below in the feedback page um in the channel section i have there i am going to be taking tracks and correcting them live in a video and so uh i'll probably do like one or two tracks per video um, I thought that was a really fun idea and uh, something cool for you guys to get some specific feedback. I don't really have a whole ton of time to do like private lessons with anybody, but I think this is a good way if you maybe are stuck and you don't know how to improve your track or you want someone to take a look at it and see how they would transform it. Um, go ahead, drop your track in there and uh, I will download it and I will make my own version of it and upload it in a video. So that's probably gonna be what the next video is gonna be. So join the Discord, put your track in there, and uh, I will do a track correction for the next video. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the new subscribers, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.